all of the students today i will tell to you how to do sums based on efficiency in time and work section so time and work questions based on efficiency let us see the first question on the screen please first question a can do or a is twice as fast as b now a is twice as fast as b in the sense suppose if we take a and b suppose b can do a work in 10 days a can do a work in 5 days because a is two times faster than b is it clear so a is to be a is twice as fast as b means if b is 2x a will be x so dear students it is not 2 uh, is to 1 a is to b is not 2 is to 1 okay a is to b 2 is to 1 it is wrong a is to b 1 is to 2 is correct so a is twice as fast as b in the sense here dear students or for example a is thrice as fast as b in the what is the meaning of this means a is to b if we take the ratio if b is 10 days a is 30 days it is wrong so a is to b is this is 3x if b is 30 a is 10 work if b does a work in 30 days a will do the same work in 10 days that is the thing my dear students hope it is clear so now i am going for the first question let us see question number 1 the question is a is a can do a work in 9 days b and uh, a is twice as fast as b a is twice as fast as b means a is twice as fast as b means so if a can do a work in 9 days b we'll do it in 18 days in the given question the question is a is twice as fast as b a is twice as fast as b a and b together a and b together can do a work in 12 days a alone will do the work in how many days so a is twice as fast as b a plus b can do a work in 12 days a alone will do it in how many days this is the question now the students based on efficiency if you say this what is given is a is to b ratio it is not 1 is to 2 it is not 2 is to 1 it is 1 is to 2 a is twice as fast as b both together will do the work in 12 days so a and b working together means dear students we'll write 1 by 1 plus 1 by 2 that is one day's work a is one day's work and b is one day's work instead of doing this we are using one shortcut that is two people are working 1 into 2 by 1 plus 2 this is a plus b working together that is 2 by 3 x suppose so a and b are working together and they complete a work in 12 days this is what you are telling so to 6 is 12 so x is equal to 18 days so a alone can do in 18 days this is the final answer hope it is clear hope it is clear a is twice as fast as b first step 
1 is to 2. A and B can do a work in 12 days. So, A and B means uh, we will take a shortcut x y by x plus y that is 1 into 2 by 1 plus 2 that is equal to 2 by 3 x equal to 12 suppose then x equal to 18. A alone will do it in 18 days. So, let us see one more question of the same type. Let us see one more question of the same type. Second question. A is thrice as fast as B. A is thrice as fast as B and can finish a work in 60 days less than B. So, because A is thrice as fast as B, first step is A is to B. It is not 3 is to 1, it is 1 is to 3. If B does in 30 days, A will do it in 10 days because it is 3 times faster. Okay, this is the first step. So, A is able to complete uh, a work in 60 days, 60 less days than B. Question, A alone and B alone will do the work in how many days? A alone and B alone, A separately. Options are 40 and 120, 30, 60, 60, 90 and one more, 30, 90. There are four options there students, 40, 120, 30, 60, uh, 60, 90 and 30, 90 like this. So, how to do? So, first ratio A is to B, 1 is to 3. This is called efficiency. If you reverse the efficiency, you will get time taken. Time taken if you want, it is 3 is to 1. Reverse of efficiency is time taken ratio. Okay. Now, what happened is, A is taking 60 days less when compared to B because A is 3 times efficient. So, difference between 3 and 1 is 2x. Difference that is called 60 days. Why A is taking 60 days less? Uh, how it is happening? Mean the, there is a difference in the ratio. There is a difference in the ratio. That is 2x is equal to 60. 3 minus 1. Difference. x is equal to 30. Now, if you take A is to B. Now, if you go for A is to B. What happens? So, 1 is 30, 1 is 90. 30 and 90 are the right options. A is 30 because A is X, uh, 1 is 3X, 1 is X. 30 and 90. A is 30 days, B is 90 days. Hope you understood. So, efficiency is uh, reverse is time. Inverse of efficiency is time taken. So, we are going for one more question of the same type. The question is, A is twice, A is twice third one, A is twice as good as B and is able to do a work in 30 days less time than B. So, A is twice as B and uh, it takes uh, 30 days less time. A takes 30 days less time than B. Now, in how many days they complete the whole work? So, A plus B will do the full work in how many days? A plus B will do the full work in how many days? That is the question. Now, let us see dear students.
Now A is to be ratio 1 is to 2. So the difference between both, the 30 days, how it is coming, difference between A and B because difference in ratios it is there. So 2x minus 1, x equal to 30 now. 1 is 30 means 1 is 60. Now the thing is that uh, we, I'll take give the options here. 10, 15, 20, 25. If you see my distance options, A and B together means A plus B together means 30 into 60 by 30 plus 60. You know that 30 into 60 by 90. If we just cancel it, how much do we get? 20. Yes. That is the right answer. So, it's I, I think it's clear ratio is A is twice as good as B means to 1 is to 2 ratio, 30 days they are taking. Then that is the difference. We will go to one more question of the same time. Okay, the question is, let us see one more question. A is twice as efficient as B. So, A is to B ratio. A is twice as efficient as B. 1 is to 2. And able to finish a work in 20 days less than B. So, the difference between uh, A and B is 20 days. So, 2x minus 1. x is equal to 20. So, A is 20 means B is equal to 40. Okay. Question. Sunita can finish the work, that is B can finish the work in how many days? B can finish the work in how many days? 25 days less than. So here, 25 days. Okay, here what he has given the question, A is to be ratio is 2 is to 1 and finish a work in 25 days. If you give 25 days in the question, then automatically x is equal to 25. So x is equal to 25 and y is equal to 50. Y is equal to 50. Hope it's clear. Hope it's clear. Thank you, dear students. We'll meet with uh, another model in the next class in efficiency. Thank you.